Breaking into a Mac is shockingly easy. Anyone can do it, and all you need is access to the computer, and possibly an OS X installation disk. Of course, we don't condone using these powers for evil, but there are a lot of legitimate reasons you might want to do this. If you get locked out of your computer, this can help you get back in. In fact, I actually recommend everyone try this at least once on their own machine to see how secure it is. The more you know about breaking into a computer, the better you can protect yourself from the real evildoers out there. If all you need is access to a few files on the computer, just boot up from a Linux Live CD, like Ubuntu, and start dragging and dropping. You may need to run your file manager as root by opening a terminal and running the sudo nautilus command, but you should be able to access most files pretty easily. But let's say you actually want to get into OS X itself. You have a few options. The easiest method is to break into the Mac using the OS X installation. If the Mac in question has a recovery partition, you're good to go. But if not, you'll need an installation disk or USB drive to continue. Boot up the computer and hold down the option key as it starts up. Choose the recovery partition or installation drive to open the OS X installation. From there, just head to Utilities, Reset Password. If you're using the Mountain Lion installer or later, you'll need to open a terminal and run the Reset Password command. This will bring up the same window and allow you to reset the password for any user. Method 2 requires a little more command line work, but it doesn't require the OS X installer, and it allows you to reset the user password and the root password. Power on your Mac and hold down the S key to enter single user mode. Once it finishes booting, you'll get a terminal prompt, like this. You'll need to run this command to check the disk, then this command to mount it. From there, you'll just need to load this preference file, after which you can change the password for any user using this command. This command will be slightly different if you're on Snow Leopard. Check out the article on Lifehacker below for a more detailed list of commands. If you want to reset the root password at this stage, you can just run the password root command to do so. When you're done, just reboot the computer and log in using your new password. The best way to protect yourself from these two methods is to turn on File Vault. You can find it in System Preferences under Security. You can also set a firmware password using the OS X installer under Utilities. It's bypassable, but it would take quite a bit more work. Good luck!